Hi everyone, I'm Rob Boulier, author of Mr. Terrip series and the Perfect Score series. I'm here with my dog Jack. We're excited to talk to you about summer reading. As a former teacher, as an author, as a parent, summer reading is something that I always get excited for, I, I look forward to. I have fun building my own summer reading list and I have even more fun, I think, helping my children to build their lists. Now for me, one um, category of, of book that always ends up on my list are, are these, these books that I've wanted to read, some of them for a long time it seems, and for whatever reason I just haven't managed to, to do it yet, I haven't managed to get to them. So I have two books that I want to recommend to you that um, fall into that category. If you haven't read them yet, I strongly encourage you to add them to your summer reading list. The first um, is this novel by Vince Water. The title's Paper Boy. Now sometimes a, a story, it, it takes a little bit before you, you get into it, before you um, really start to care about the character, I guess. Um, but, but with this one, um, I, I, I loved it from the first sentence all the way until, until the last. I loved all of it in between. It's a, just a fantastic coming of age um, story with this 11 year old boy. Um, so if you haven't read uh, Vince Waters' novel, Paperboy yet, add it to your list, add it to your list. Uh, the other one I would say the same about is Sharon Draper's wonderful novel, Out of My Mind. Um, this one here is a classroom favorite, school favorite, community read across the country, um, has been for many years and for good reason. It's just flat out wonderful. Uh, Melody's story is a very powerful one. So if you have not yet read Sharon Draper's wonderful novel, Out of My Mind, do make sure to add this to your summer reading list. Um, now the other category of book that always shows up on my list are these brand new titles that um, are coming out and I can't wait to get to them. And Jack here, he and I have one of those stories coming out this summer. Here it is. The title is What Comes Next? And you might notice the resemblance between the dog on the cover here and my guy Jack. So I do not have an actual book to share with you because um, this novel is being printed as we speak and um, it will be out on June 8th. Now what comes next is my first standalone novel. It's also my first novel where I, it's told with a single voice narration. Um, you'll meet Thea, middle school girl, who feels responsible for the tragic accident and loss of her best friend, and she will only begin to heal and forgive, forgive herself after her family adopts an extraordinary rescue dog. And Jack here is mine. Um, now don't worry, Thea's story is a very hopeful one, and I promise it's full of my trademark humor and feel-good moments. It's a story that has been with me for a long time, and it poured from my heart when writing it. As that former teacher, um, I can tell you it's a story that I would have loved to read aloud to my students. It's a quick read and one that is sure to pack a punch. It will give your students much to discuss and even more to ponder. Um, I'd like to tell you more about what comes next. I, I wish I could, but you'll need to read it. Um, you'll need to add it to your summer reading lists. Uh, so with that, happy reading. Jenny home here and I'm so excited because summer is just around the corner. I love summer. I love biking down to the beach and eating way too much ice cream and of course reading books. Summer is the best time to catch up on some of your favorite authors. I know I'm looking forward to reading Judd Winnick's new Hilo book. It's Hilo number seven Gina. It's such a great series. So be sure to pop by your local library and pick up a nice stack of books and if you're interested you might want to even check out one of mine the Lion of Mars. It's about a boy named Belle who goes to Mars. Have a great summer and be sure to read. 
Hello, friends. My name is Matthew Swanson. I am a writer, author, author of books? Yes. Yeah. My name is Robbie Bear, and I'm an illustrator of books. And we're sitting here together today because we are married to each other. And we are. And we make books together. Yes. We make More these books. More importantly. These are the first two books in the Cookie Chronicle series, a new middle grade series about Ben Yokoyama. We're going to talk about this later. Yes. Right now, I'm afraid we have to have a little talking a to little with you. A little lecture, you guys. All right. We want you mm -hmm. to read this summer. Yes. Yeah, summer reading is very important. It's very important. Keep your brain fit. Yeah. It's like push-ups or sit-ups for your brain. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. mountain climbing for your brain. Yeah. You want your brain to be fit. You want to go back to school with big muscly brain and not like sad noodle arms brain. Here's the thing. You can read about push-ups and sit-ups and mountain climbing mm -hmm. while reading on and, your couch. And you don't actually have to go do it. But we also oh, no. want you to move That's this right. summer. The second part of this lecture is don't sit on your couch doing nothing. Read sometimes and then run around sometimes. Exactly. Have we covered the bases? I think so. I'm going to be reading this summer. What are you going to be reading this mm, summer, Robbie I'm Bear? I'm very excited about this book, the new book by John Klass, and I just got it from our bookstore, The Rock from the Sky. It looks very beautiful. It doesn't have lots of words okay, in it, all right? So but gonna... look at the beautiful pictures it has in it, mm. you guys. Robbie am... has John Klass and Illustrator I, Envy. I do. I really want... He's... And plus, he's also funny. You know what? That made it look like all these pages. There we go. There's a beautiful one. I just want you guys to know. Super funny, super dry, understated. I'm going to be reading books with slightly more words than that. First all right, of all, all right. I'm going to read the books in the Silla Lee Jenkins series by our friend Sue. Susan Tan. Mm -hmm. This is a book series about a young woman who wants Future to be an author, author extraordinary. when she grows That's up. Why Matthew wants to I read wanted it. to be an author when I grew up, so I can't wait to read her adventures. Mm -hmm. I've started these books with my son, Augie, and we're really enjoying them so far. And Augie is nine. Augie is nine. Yeah. Robbie doesn't spend much time with our children. I don't know She how doesn't go to their is. birthday parties. Mm -mm. I'm also going to read the Engineered series by our friend Jarrett Lerner. These are great, exciting, funny books about this group of kids who are really into engineering and problem solving. I believe there's super some smart. robots involved. They encounter some robots mm -hmm. and have to solve problems and deal with those robots, but they do, mm -hmm. and they will. And mm -hmm. I know you'll enjoy these our books. Our son, Kato, I believe, is going to be reading Robbie, those. he's 11 years old. Yes, thanks for telling me, Matthew. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's another book that I'm really interested by Remy Lai. Mm. It's called Paul Casso, like Picasso, like a but Paul. Paul. It's like, about a dog. Like a dog. It's yeah. about a dog. So these are graphic novels because I love looking at pictures while I read. So um, she has also written Pie in the Sky and Fly on the Wall. And um, read them, my friends. She's yes. also an awesome human being. Yes. We are not going to be reading these books. No, we aren't. And do you know why? Because mm, we're we busy know writing about. and illustrating books yes. three, four, and five. Yes. There are we... so many Cookie Chronicles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is Cookie Chronicles about? Mm -hmm. It's about Ben Yokoyama. He is a third grader who has very literal minded way of looking at the world. Mm -hmm. He reads fortune cookies. Mm -hmm. In every book he gets a new fortune cookie. Mm -hmm. He misinterprets its <gasps> meaning. All and kinds he, of hijinks. He gets in all, all kinds sorts of, of troubles. He has to mm -hmm. get out of trouble. His friend Janet has to solve problems mm -hmm. with him. Anyway, funny books, heartwarming books, densely <gasps> Most importantly, look books. at all the pictures in these books. They are kind of like our version of a graphic novel. Hey, Robbie Bear, she's a great illustrator, guys. Robbie, I want you to do a few things this summer. Mm -hmm. I want you to draw pictures. Okay. I want you to do push-ups, sit-ups, climb mountains, ooh, ooh, move around, ooh. and read. Read. I'll read. Read. I'll read. read. All summer long. Hi, my name is Mika Song, and I am the author and illustrator of a graphic novel called Donut Feed the Squirrels. I'm here today to talk to you about my favorite season, summer. I really enjoy summer because you're never cold. You can wear slippers outside and your feet won't get cold. You can go biking very slowly and your ears won't get cold. And if you get too hot, you can just order yourself an iced beverage. This summer, I plan to spend a lot of time outdoors. I'm gonna bike to the park every day with a lawn chair and read some books. I have a bunch of books that I would like to recommend to you. One of them is Sunday Fun Day in Koreatown by Aram Kim. And it follows Yumi and her dad on a trip to Koreatown. One of my favorite things about it is it's full of pictures of delicious food. I definitely want to eat one of these this summer. The other book I'd like to recommend is also about food. It's called Avocado Asks, What Am I? by Momoko Abe. And it's all about an avocado who's trying to figure out what are they? Are they a fruit or a vegetable? Who can't relate to that? And the other book I'd like to recommend is Vamos, Let's Go Eat by Raul III and Colors by Elaine Bay. This book is full of really cool taco trucks. 
and all manner of food trucks, actually. And isn't that what summer is all about? Eating outside? And finally, the thing I'm most excited for this summer is that the follow-up to Donut Feed the Squirrels is here. Apple of My Pie on June 8th. Apple of My Pie is all about Norma, Belly, and Little Bee having to save Gramps from the pie factory. So I hope you get a chance to check it out. Have a great summer and read whatever you want. <laughs>